That she's a rookie, right? This, this is her first mission. We're talking about uncharted territory here. This is one of the most dangerous exploration missions we've had all this all, all this year. Ah. Well, I don't. Not like I have any choice on the race. But do know that I do not agree with this. And if she dies, the blood will be on your hands. Those are my terms. All right. Rookie, we've been assigned to the same mission. Meaning that you will follow every single command I give you. Is that understood, Cadet? Good. Now walk with me and I'll let you in on the mission details. First off, I understand that you're excited and all, but this mission won't be an easy one. Our destination will be Solar 031, also known as Ceridian. Exact coordinates are 095 Alpha Bravo. 7485 Z9, also known as the Eden System. Yeah, you might have read the reports of the Eden Project, or as the media likes to call it, the Garden of Eden. Ever since those files got leaked to the public, the media has been boasting this project as a chance to find paradise. Little did they realize how little we know about this planet. You might have noticed how vague the report was. This is because we have no real intel about this planet. Even though we have attempted multiple drone landings and have sent multiple colony ships to the planet, we have yet to be able to even reach the planet's surface. So far all we have been able to retrieve are the wreckages of the drones and ships. We, believed, we do believe that one expedition ship survived the initial landing however. Sadly enough we cannot reach them. And the dense clouds do not allow us to create any kind of visual of how it's looking down there. All we really know about the planet is that the air is breathable, the temperature is perfect, and the water should be good. What well, we do not know. So, people could call our mission somewhat suicidal. But, because our report got leaked and the entire project is closely being watched by the public, we cannot afford to quit. Now, are you still excited as before? That's what I thought. Don't worry though. If we die, it will be relatively painless, if that helps. Now, I think you're getting close to the hangars. Before we enter our ship, I just want to give you a quick heads up that we are not going alone. We'll be traveling with a pilot and a mechanic. They don't know much about our kind of work, but they're veterans in their respective branch. And they do know what they're doing, so they'll be of value to our little team. Granted. What's your question? Yes, I know them. I served with them in the Navy when the Castlefield uprising happened. Now those were some bloody times. Anyways, they should still recognize me, even though it's been a while. I guess we'll find out, eh? Ah, there she is. Isn't she a beauty? A Corvette 097 glider class. Might be a bit old school, but it'll do perfectly for where we're heading. She's got a rapier. Now, let's see if our new crew has boarded our new home yet. Anybody home? About time you showed up. We literally just finished loading everything in. Good to see you too, Sandra. God, what have I missed your constant complaining. <laughs> Well, without my constant complaining, you would have died of some malfunction ages ago, wouldn't you? Well, I'm still walking. And to be honest, I'm not really looking forward to finding out if you're right. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit, have you, Sunbird? Well, 
I could order if that counts. <laughs> you didn't get wiser, apparently. <laughs> well, I never said I did. Anyways, is she ready to fly yet? Well, everything seems in check. You should see if Basil is ready to depart. If so, we can be on our way. By the way, who's this? She's our, um, intern. It's a long story. I'll explain it to you sometime. Anyways, I'm gonna go check up on Basil. I'll call you over when we are ready to depart. Basil? Where the bloody hell are you? Well, well, well. If it isn't the missing musketeer. Jesus Christ. Basil, what are you doing up there? Oh, I'm just recalibrating the last sensors so that we won't land on the wrong planet. Are you even wearing any safety harness? Why would I need that? It's not like I'm going to fall or anything. Are you sure about that? Of course! I've done this a hundred times and I only fell, like, four times so far. <sighs> when you fell, I assume you fell in your head? Like, once or twice. But I didn't have any major injuries from it. Wait, how did you know? It was just a wild guess. Who is the little D. Artagnan you bought with you? It's D'Artagnan, Basil. Oh, and she's my, um, intern? Wait, we get interns now? No, it's a special assignment. Some higher up wants her on this mission. So, what does she do? Bring us coffee, or...? She will be assisting me in my research. Oh, that's a pity. I could really use someone who brings me coffee from time to time. <sighs> Why is it that I've not missed you, Basil? Because I've always been here with you. Deep within your heart. Always be there with you. Okay, now I really want to take a long shower and just rub this filth out of me. Well, suit yourself. Anyways, when are we able to take off? Anytime you want, Chief. Alright then. Rookie, go to your cryopod. You'll be awakened once we're out of hyperspeed.